Hello there! Today is September 1st. It is the first official day of PAX West. We are not there. I, well, Jack is, on vacation, so keep an eye out for him. I jokingly told Heath to kick him in the shins for me, but I don't want everyone to do that. That would be rude. Maybe like three or four people top. So figure out amongst yourselves who it'll be. Oh, and the other thing that's today is we're announcing the winner of the Fans with Benefits prize for August. So stay tuned until later in the video for that announcement. But now, the intro. Smart homes may still seem like a futuristic concept, but it's easier than ever to add smart devices from TP-Link to your humble abode, like the AV1200 Powerline AC Wi-Fi kit to boost Wi-Fi signal in the dead zones of your house, or the Wi-Fi Smart Plug, which lets you remotely turn devices on and off and monitor power consumption with the TP-Link CASA app. The smart Wi-Fi LED bulb can display thousands of colors and even schedule color temperature changes to match your circadian rhythms. And the HD Pan Tilt Wi-Fi camera lets you keep an eye on your home from the app with night vision. See how the McNeil family upgraded to a smart home by clicking the link in the corner or the description. Microsoft has announced the next big feature update to Windows 10 will arrive October 17th. The Fall Creators Update, as it's being called, will add new ways to combine photos, videos, and 3D effects using Windows Story Remix, although that app will initially be missing some of its more advanced features. The main draw in this update will be support for Windows Mixed Reality headsets, a number of which are also launching on October 17th, while other OEMs like Asus won't launch theirs until later. Windows Mixed Reality will work with software developed on the Mixed Reality API, but the headsets will also support Steam VR, even though we're all still mad at Valve for Half-Life 3. An Instagram hack earlier this week that exposed some celebrities' phone numbers and email addresses appears to be much more serious than previously thought. One hacker claims to have scraped the data of 6 million Instagram users and is making his database available for 10 bucks per search. Security researchers are noting it does look like the data is legitimate. An Instagram rep has said the company is investigating the issue. Hopefully, it's their top guy. The top Instagram detective is on the case. Whoa, we can rest easy. Everyone relax, IG investigator on duty. <sighs> Thank goodness. And Razer has released a new customizable gaming mouse called the Basilisk. It's apparently designed first and foremost for FPS players with a number of features that can be tweaked to your liking. Like a tactile scroll wheel with adjustable resistance and a little swappable thumb button Razer is calling a clutch, but which I'm going to call a dingle, because I can't help it. There's three different sizes of dingle you can choose between to get your dingle just right. <laughs> It's time for Quick Bits, sponsored by Lego Elves on Netflix. It's not sponsored. This is not sponsored by that. But I'm in that show. So go check it out. Today, Twitch unveiled Twitch extensions, which are essentially plugins for certain games and websites that do things like display stats and allow members in the chat to interact directly with the streamer. Alexa's showing up everywhere these days, and now she's in the braggy Dash and Dash Pro wireless earbuds, as well as the Sandbot Nano, a robot helper from China. Except I'm pretty sure that's not what Alexa's face looks like. That, lo that looks more like a... Yeah. Johan. Ha ha ha! <laughs> See? 4K TVs are only just starting to get mainstream now, but Sharp isn't happy enough with that. It wants you to have a 70-inch 8K TV by Christmas, or you're not even really watching TV. You're watching a friggin' potato. God, it's basically the future, people. Keep up! Speaking of the future, Logitech has shown off a new futuristic-looking wireless keyboard called the Craft with a touch-sensitive input dial. Who knows if it will actually help that much, but it looks cool and it will probably make you feel artsy, so. And let's celebrate for a moment the demise of the Juicero Juicer, which was essentially a $400 juice pack squeezer that was exposed as the unnecessary nonsense it was, and Juicero is now refunding everyone who bought one. Justice. Justice. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post, linked in the description. Why yo dog? out of all the phrases? Oh. What else would you like us to say, McFries? What analogs of Yo Dog exist that are better? NCIX Hey Man? Hashtag NCIX Excuse Me Sir or Madam? Hashtag NCIX A uh, Sir Dude? 
Actually, I'd be down for that last one, even if it is a dead meme. If you want to send us a hashtag NCIX uh, dude, I mean hashtag NCIX yo dog, tweet it at us. All right, it's time to announce the winner of August's Fans with Benefits prize, which is an ASRock Killer SLI X370 motherboard right here. Yes, it's right side up. And the winner is, drum roll please. Congratulations to Eric R. You don't need to win the lotto anymore, although if you did, I'm sure that would still be very nice. Check your YouTube inbox for instructions on how to claim your prize. The link to that will be in the description. Description? The description, if you don't know how to get there. And now let's announce the prize for September. Drum roll again, please. That's right, it's a G-Skill Ripjaws KM780 RGB mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX Brown switches. That is the... There we go. Uh, all you gotta do to enter to win this is subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips, comment on any video from September, and... That's it. <laughs> we announce the winners on the first netlink of the next month, so congrats, good luck, and Godspeed, young squires. All right, that's it for Nailing Daily. Thank you so much for watching. A reminder, Monday is a holiday in both Canada and the US, so there will be no Netlinked on that day, but we'll be back on Tuesday. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here, but as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And I'll see you on the other side of the weekend, my dudes. Party hard, don't party that hard though. Party the appropriate amount. See you later.